If research could only advance far enough, we should arrive at an ultimate agreement between physical and psychological concepts. Take a moment to imagine the historic conversation between the brilliant psychoanalyst Carl Jung and the Nobel laureate physicist Wolfgang Pauli. It was out of the meeting of these two giants at the intersection of the realms of psychology and quantum physics that a revolutionary, paradigm-shifting collaboration emerged, the Jung-Pauli conjecture. In this intellectual fusion, Jung and Pauli finally bridged the plane of the psyche with the very bottom plane of the physical world, the quantum realm. Part 1. The Meeting of Minds In the late 1920s, Carl Jung, the pioneering Swiss psychiatrist, coined the term synchronicity to refer to the meaningful coincidences that seem to transcend conventional causality and suggest a profound interconnection between the internal realms of the psyche and the external workings of the world. If you are interested in a deep dive into Jung's synchronicity, click on the link in the upper right corner to watch our full video on the subject. In essence, Jung's exploration of this concept aimed to unveil a deeper order in reality, in which seemingly unrelated events share a meaningful relationship beyond chance. He explained it as such. Synchronicity could be understood as an ordering system by means of which similar things coincide, without there being any apparent cause. Parallel to Jung's inquiries, the eminent physicist Wolfgang Pauli was delving into the mysteries of quantum physics. Pauli's groundbreaking exclusion principle, established in 1925, revealed the inherent behavior of subatomic particles, shaping the foundations of modern physics. But how did Pauli and Jung ever come to cross paths? Pauli, by the end of 1930, had reached the pinnacle of his scientific achievements. Yet, his personal life was in disarray, marked by emotional turbulence, triggered by family tragedies and a failed marriage. As he grappled with these challenges, Pauli turned to heavy drinking and smoking, seeking solace in the dimly lit ambiance of Mary's Old Timers Bar in Zurich. As his personal life reached a breaking point, his father intervened to recommend therapy with Carl Jung. The convergence of their minds was remarkable. Pauli's dreams, often laden with geometric elements and abstract symbols, were interpreted by Jung in the light of archetypes. This interchange led to a weaving of connections between the realms of mathematical physics and ancient symbolism. The culmination of their collaboration resulted in the joint volume The Interpretation of Nature and the Psyche in 1952. This publication featured Jung's treatise on synchronicity and Pauli's exploration of the influence of archetypal ideas on scientific thought. Part 2. Synchronicity and the Quantum Chance, Probability, and the Observer Pauli's insights into quantum physics offered Jung a meticulous understanding of the foundational principles that govern the subatomic realm. This infusion of scientific knowledge transformed Jung's exploration of synchronicity. The quantum landscape is defined by what seems to be an inherent randomness and unpredictability, challenging traditional notions of determinism and causality. Under Pauli's influence, Jung's perception of synchronicity thus evolved beyond a mere alignment of random events into a manifestation of a nuanced and subtle order, one that resonated with the intricate probabilities woven into the fabric of quantum mechanics. The dance of probability in the quantum realm, where particles exist in superposition and uncertainties reign, became a metaphorical stage for Jung's evolving concept of synchronicity. Pauli's discussions on the probabilistic nature of quantum phenomena spurred Jung to ponder how the inherent uncertainty and ambiguity in the quantum world might find parallels in the subjective experiences of individuals. The probability waves in quantum mechanics 
resonated with the idea that meaningful connections, as observed in synchronicity, could emerge from a realm of potentiality and indeterminacy. In the quantum realm, particles can become entangled, where the state of one particle instantaneously influences the state of another, regardless of the distance between them. This phenomenon challenges our classical understanding of locality and suggests a profound interconnectedness that transcends physical space. Indeed, in quantum physics, the observer plays the crucial role of collapsing the quantum wave function, which is analogous to the role of consciousness in shaping meaningful coincidences in the macroscopic world. This intertwining of quantum probability and the observer's influence opens up profound philosophical questions about the nature of reality and the interconnected dance between chance and conscious observation. Pauli's contributions illuminated the observer effect, revealing the profound notion that the act of observation itself could shape the outcomes of quantum experiments. He thus wrote in 1954, In the new pattern of thought, we do not assume any longer the detached observer, but an observer who by his indeterminable effects creates a new situation, theoretically described as a new state of the observed system. This revelation steered Jung toward perceiving the observer's consciousness as a pivotal force in shaping meaningful connections between events. This concept blurred the conventional boundaries between subjectivity and objectivity, opening up new vistas for understanding the interplay between perception and the unfolding of synchronistic events. In essence, Pauli's profound grasp of quantum principles provided Jung with a robust scientific foundation to substantiate and expand his theories on synchronicity. Their collaborative endeavors unveiled profound interconnections between the ostensibly distinct domains of physics and psychology. As they navigated the intricate nuances of chance, probability, and observation, their symbiotic relationship flourished, one that not only enriched the comprehension of synchronicity, but also constructed a bridge between the enigmatic nature of the quantum world and the mysteries embedded within the human psyche. Pauli's involvement became a catalyst for a holistic exploration, transcending disciplinary boundaries and inviting a profound contemplation of the underlying unity between the microcosm and the macrocosm. Part 3. Jung's Unus Mundus Binding the Mental and the Physical This profound realization of the interconnectedness of mind and matter prompted Jung to propose the concept of the Unus Mundus. This idea will be absolutely fundamental to understand the culmination of Jung and Pauli's collaboration in the Jung-Pauli conjecture. In his 1955 book Mysterium Conjunctionis, Jung explains the Unus Mundus as such. The idea of the Unus Mundus is founded on the assumption that the multiplicity of the empirical world rests on an underlying unity and that not two or more fundamentally different worlds exist side by side or are mingled with one another. Rather, everything divided and different belongs to one and the same world. With the Unus Mundus, or One World, Jung tried to say that the universe as a whole is unified. It is one whole. The universe is neither mental nor physical, but psychophysically neutral. But this undivided whole is composed of the two aspects of the mental and the physical. This idea is sometimes referred to as dual aspect monism. In this conceptualization, there exists a unified, interconnected realm that transcends the apparent duality of mind and matter. This notion implies that the mental and material aspects are interconnected and inseparable. Pauli was in profound agreement with this picture of the universe. In 1948, he wrote, the laws of this world would then be the physical manifestations of the archetypes. Each law of nature should then have an inner correspondence 
and vice versa. But within the scheme of Unus Mundus, the breakdown of the primordial symmetry leads to the emergence of dual aspects. This implies that the unity inherent in Unus Mundus experiences a shift or breakdown, resulting in the manifestation of dualities such as mind and matter. The process of symmetry breakdown contributes to the diversity and multiplicity observed in the manifest world and the quantum realm. Part 4. The Jung-Pauli Conjecture The Pauli-Jung Conjecture is the groundbreaking culmination of Jung and Pauli's cross-pollination on the subject of synchronicity. This intellectual venture unfolded predominantly between 1946 and 1954, reaching its zenith four years before Pauli's demise. The conjecture is founded on the dual aspect perspective that we have just explored. It thus transcends the boundaries of their respective disciplines, merging physics and psychology into a cohesive framework. The radical and brilliant idea of the Jung-Pauli conjecture is that the seemingly random correlations and probabilities found in the quantum world transcend mere quantitative statistics. They are of the realm of qualitative meaning. Pauli wrote in 1954, it might be that matter is not treated properly if it is observed as in quantum mechanics, namely totally neglecting the inner state of the observer. The well-known incompleteness of quantum mechanics cannot be removed by reverting to classical field physics. It has much more to do with holistic relationships between inside and outside, which contemporary science does not contain. Synchronicity is therefore a particular type of a-causal quantum correlation. According to the revolutionary conjecture, quantum entanglement is not a random non-local linkage between particles, but the revelation of the intrinsic relation between mind and matter. This holistic perspective suggests that the psychophysical correlations observed in synchronistic events arise from a deeper archetypal order, challenging the traditional boundaries between the mental and the material. The collaboration not only enriches our understanding of synchronicity, but also serves as a bridge between the disciplines of physics and psychology, fostering a nuanced exploration of meaning and interconnectedness in the cosmos. In essence, the Jung-Pauli conjecture weaves a narrative that transcends disciplinary boundaries, offering a unique perspective on the nature of reality. The collaborative endeavor invites contemplation on the role of meaning in psychophysical correlations, as well as the potential parallels between quantum phenomena and the dynamics of the human psyche. Through their exploration of synchronicity, Jung and Pauli provided us a lens through which to perceive an interconnectedness that goes beyond the conventional confines of scientific inquiry, ushering in a holistic paradigm for understanding our universe.